Hey guys and welcome to another episode of Fossil Friday. So in today's episode we're going to be going through some amazing finds that I found recently. Now I should actually be prepping ones that I've already found, but somehow I didn't have time to prep any fossils but I found the time to hunt some more. Bit of an unusual situation that, but not complaining. So we've got quite a lot to get through because it was a very successful hunting day, but it was also a very, very wet hunting day. So everything is laced in a thick layer of mud. So I've let it all dry and hopefully it's just gonna kind of crumble off, but we've got a lot to process. So it's all very exciting. But talking of exciting, I have some amazing news to share because a few of you have been asking. So if you didn't know, I finished my masters and I've kind of, over the past year, been working out what to do next. So I've been working and just kind of putting my feelers out on what's next for me. And I did put the feelers out for a PhD and um, luckily, I say luckily or fortunately, I've been offered it. So I start my PhD in October and it's literally my dream PhD. I cannot wait to start working on it. And it's in geology, but also geoconservation. So it's kind of linking all my interests and that will be for three years. And so in 2026, I will officially be Dr. Jones if I successfully survive the PhD. It is a lot of work. Um, so yeah, living my Indiana Jones fantasy. Da, 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 da. But I don't think I'll quite do the whipping uh, hat in my final graduation. I think it's just the wrong vibe. I'm sure some professors would appreciate it, but the whip might give off the wrong impression. I don't know. We'll give it three years and then see how I'm feeling. But yeah, so that's a little bit crazy, but very, very exciting nonetheless. So I just thought I'd give a little update to see who, you know, actually listens. I was like, I'll just slide it into the video and not make too big of a song and dance about it until I actually start and then it's going to just be all systems go. I have three years to do a PhD. Like that is mental. How crazy is that? So yeah, very excited, a little bit like apprehensive because it's just like, it's that kind of final step of education and it's a massive challenge for myself, but I've got to do it. I just, I have to do it. And it's a really, it's a perfect project for me. So I think I'll really enjoy it at the same time. So it's kind of a win-win. I'm trying not to overthink it and just think about the project itself and be like, Emma, you're going to love that. And so that's how I'm looking at it. So yeah, very exciting. So I'm going to be a full-time student from October onwards for three years. So that is kind of crazy, but very exciting. Yeah. I, I literally can't wait to start it. I'm already like starting the literature review. That's how keen I am. But anyway, let's go back to the video. Also on a completely random note, even though it very much isn't random because I put the outfit together, we've got to appreciate the amount of ammonites I've managed to squeeze into this look. We've got the belt. So this is an old cloak clasp. It's like a vintage one that I found on eBay. And I then turned it into a belt because how cool are those ammonites? Like they are just incredible. And then to match, I have an ammonite necklace and ammonite earrings. So I am repping two, four, five, six if we count my tattoo. So now let's go see a load of ammonites that I found as well. <laughs> For this hunting trip, I tried a new trick of using this boot box. Now my plan was to keep all the mud inside this box rather than my car. Now, even though this contains loads of fossils and worked really well, I can confirm that my car is also still full of mud. So it didn't quite contain the mud, it just acted as like another container, which was pretty useful. So let's have a look what we've got in here. So it was very successful, but oh, we're dropping ammonites everywhere. But a little bit chaotic. So I ran out of um, bags to put fossils in. So we ended up with literally like bags full of all different pieces. So these ones aren't very fragile, so I wasn't too worried about them all just kind of lying on top of each other. Um, but we've got everything. We've got some really nice like chunky dactylioceruses. My favorite harpoceruses with these like little swiggle lines. Like look at the ribbing on that. The sun's like come out perfectly to show you guys. So you can see how much mud is on these. So they all just need like a proper soak and scrub. So I'll hopefully get round to that soon. Got some nice hildoceruses. What else is in here? God, we just got loads. Look at all of these. And they were so easy to find. Like because of the weather, it yes, it made it extremely muddy, but it also kind of washed off some of that mud. So you were able to see like the ammonite keels and things poking out. Da, da, da. Now some are better than others. We do also have belemnites. Of course. Uh, what's this one? It's quite a chunk. Oh, look at the ribs on that. They're even finer. That's pretty amazing. 
Oh, and that one's quite cool. I love it when they're crushed and then fossilized because you get really cool patterns in the sutures. So it's almost like jigsaws that stick out of the fossils. Like, how weird is that one? It almost looks like it's really fragile and it's just going to crumble into a million pieces, but that is solid and it has so much going on. Amazing. So then it's just a bag of more little ones. Let's see what else is in here. So, dun, dun, dun. right, we've got some bigger ones. Whoa, look at this one. Now that is a harposterus. That is humongous. So I think that's one of the bigger ones I found. And then found some cool prep pieces that I'll hopefully get to. You can see there's another swirly M light in there. Um, I also found some nice Northloids, if I can find them. What's in this one? I'm gonna guess it's another Ammonite. Uh, right, I'm just gonna take all of these out and then we can have a rummage. God, look at that one. That is a big bag of fossils. Oh. As I said, it was a very successful day. <laughs> Chaotic but successful. So this bag is literally full to the rim of just really kind of nice pieces that won't take a lot of prep. They just need a little bit of TLC and they should come out quite nicely. Now I think this is a jigsaw puzzle, if I remember. So I think there's multiple pieces to that one. So that's a nice chunky Hildosaurus. That one's not part of the jigsaw. Another different one that's quite pretty. Another Harposaurus. Another Harposaurus. I feel like that, should, that could be my anthem for this haul. Another Harposaurus. <laughs> ah, and a nice chunky Nautilus. Look at this one. Look at the chambers on that. Just crumbling away, covered in mud. That's quite a nice piece, that one. Okay, we have cleared out half of it. We now need to clear out this half. So we've got some more. Some more. I think that's empty. Some more. Even more. Or oh, something in there. Oh, don't know what is this? Oh, it is a fragment, but a very pretty fragment. Wow, look at the sutures on that. They're almost like red in colour. I love it when sutures are like this. So sometimes I pick up fragments of ammonites just because of how pretty the sutures are. And I think this is an example of that. Amazing. Put that. Right, is there anything else hiding in this? I think... That is just full of crumbs. You guys can't even see it. Oh, and we've got the modern day equivalent. I, I have an actual snail in there. There you go, snail. You can sit with your similar shells from many, many million years ago. Then in this one, we have the overflow. So we have the hard hat. We have the hammer that is in a lot of need of some TLC. Look at the mud on that. Mud and rust. I need to sort that out. And they were, these walking boots were meant to be my driving shoes, but they ended up getting very, very muddy. Okay, so here we have a huge harposterus that I wanted to see how it would clean up. So let me take it out. Da, da, da. Okay. So I love it when fossils are still in their like matrix. So I want to see if I can just kind of get the center out a little bit more and then almost have it just as like a doorstop or piece because I feel like if I sand down this side I might be able to get it to like almost stand oh it kind of does already it just leans a little bit too towards me maybe if I stand it the other way you guys can see it like that oh it stands quite nicely actually maybe it'll be a shelf piece I think if I prep that we'll be able to hopefully see it a bit nicer but I think if I just prep out the middle and then paraloid round it it might look quite cool but yeah I really like that piece god this is 
gonna be loads more work for me and loads more cool content for you. So I've officially laid out everything I found and I didn't quite realize how extensive it was because when it's all like piled together and wrapped up, it looks a lot less than when you lay it out like this. I mean, this is, I think, one of my best fossil hauls ever. I don't think I've found this many ammonites in one go ever. Oh, this is incredible and so many of the same species but there's some variations amongst them so especially with the hildoceruses and harposeruses i think um either alongside my phd or even as an after project kevin and i will go through and make like a detailed monograph of them all all because there are so many specimens here so we have a chance to actually kind of analyze them and go through them all in a lot more detail but this is just and these aren't small like look at the size of these and this one's very cool actually this one i found this big piece and it's kind of very weathered on its outer well here and then it's like very just chunky and detailed but it was obviously a fragment and then i went digging kind of a few meters away from it and i found the other half so this must have fallen out the cliff broken and the pieces went to like different places but it's such a good fit so that one goes there and then I was like, oh no, I'm missing that up a bit. I found it again, a few meters away from that other piece. I found the slither and this is extremely slimy, the slither, but look how good of a fit. It's like a perfect jigsaw and three pieces is not too bad. And then I found lots of very sweet little ones and everything's made it back in one piece pretty much. And so I'm just gonna kind of let it all dry out a bit better and then I'll start processing them all they all will need to get wet again in a good soak but some of them are extremely slimy so it's just a bit easier to lay them out and i this is one of my favorites as well look at this one so weird some really lovely pieces so i'm just scanning over to see which ones you guys might like to look at this one's quite lovely so this is in like it's in a block of almost like a clay matrix. So I'm hoping it survives, but it is very like muddy. So I've got to be careful prepping that one because the ammonite might actually pop out of it and I want it to stay because I think it looks very nice in its block. And then that's another nice block piece. Some need a lot more prepping than others. I mean, look at this one. That one hopefully is under there, but that is covered in mud. And then I still think this is one of the best harposteruses out of the lot. It's just really lovely. The middle, I don't think is quite there, but that's okay. The rest of it is. Wow, just look at all of that and look at the sutures on this one. It's a really incredible specimen. And then I found two nautiluses here and I'm pretty sure, I don't know where it is though. I remember finding a really nice little nautilus. So I'm gonna have to go on the hunt in my car. It must have somehow disappeared from the rest. I can't see it hiding anywhere. And then I think this one, even if it doesn't clean up much more than that, just by putting paraloid just on the fossil bit, I think it will just make it stand out that little bit more. But wow, <laughs> look at all of that. But that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this show and tell. I know it was literally me just unhauling everything I found on my fossil hunting trip, but I thought you guys would like to see it kind of straight from the field because I couldn't film in the field on this particular hunt. I thought, well, what's the closest thing I can do to that? I can do it as soon as I get back. So I thought some of you would enjoy seeing all the muddy specimens and then over the next like couple of months, I'd say, because these ones aren't time sensitive. So I think I'll carry on prepping those crushed ones that you saw in the last Fossil Friday, um, just because those ones I'm still scrubbing, scrubbing, scrubbing and getting all the fragments as clean as I can. And then hopefully they're all gonna join together like a perfect jigsaw, but that never really happens with fossils, does it? It's uh, gonna be a bit of a pain. So I'm gonna carry on prepping those and then I'll prep these ones, but yeah. I just thought you guys would enjoy seeing just how many I found on this trip. Like it really is incredible. They're just, they're such great ammonites. You can never have too many ammonites, that's what I say. Not quite sure what I'm gonna do with all of these ones though. Um, I guess prep them and keep them safe and I need to get my shelves built in here. So I'm gonna build those like brick and wood shelves and I've got all the pieces to do it. I just need to build it up and then I'm gonna like have a collection and do like almost like species per shelf because especially um, with me at least, I hunt in similar locations and so I get a lot of the same species of ammonites. So I have a, 
I have a lot of Harposterus, Hildoceruses and Dactyloceruses. They're like the three species I have a lot of. And then when I do the Jurassic coats, I've got quite a few Amalthius ones. Um, so it'd be nice to kind of group them together and then just all my favourite ones will go in my house and then all my other specimens I can decorate my garage with. That's the plan. So I need to stop just talking about it and actually do it. But that's today's video. I hope you're all doing well. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed and hopefully I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.